friends welcome back to another video and today's video we'll be learning how to make a super fun cat and mouse chase game it's really easy to make and really fun to play so here's the demo that what we'll be making about uh, today so there's this mouse and a cat the cat chases the mouse and we will control the mouse by the mouse pointer like this so wherever the mouse pointer goes the uh, mouth goes there and as you saw that if you like keep the mouse pointer on the mouse it just goes like something like that it's because it does not know where to go and soon as possible the ma uh, the cat will catch it and you'll be under the catch uh, the cat's arm so it's a really fun game to play um no time limit nothing in this but as you all know if you are my daily watchers you might know that um my um uh, my games have better versions of them so i tell i show you the better version in every video's last um uh, and then i ask you to comment down if you want the version so if you want to see the better version of this game keep watching so now let's start the project so I've got a new project right here the first thing we want to do is name the project so that we have an organized project cat and mouse um case cheese cheese game that so we have got our cat and mouse chase game its name next what we want to do is delete sprite one and go to the choose sprite option and search for the sprite that we want you can use any sprite you want it's your desire but now i'll be choosing the cat too because I am making a cat game, I think I should go with cats, obviously. So next we want a mouse. So that's only one mouse and that also has a top view and that's good. The next thing we want to do is choose the background. These top viewed, um, top viewed sprites needs background which also uh, looks simple and looks something like from the top view. So that's why I advise you if you have taken the sprites that I have taken, please do not choose anything like um, the uh, the tree, the wall, because they will make the um, the game a bit shabby. Because it's like nobody can go through walls. No cat and mouse fights through walls or anything underwater. You can use that with different sprites. But now I prefer you to choose. A background from the patterns that's where I see everything simple and perfect for this game you can use anything you want it's your choice I'll be using the light as the light seems like a small car a big carpet and it has a boundary where they, they both can start so that's good next what we want to do is go to the information panel and get them ready the cat next we'll go to the mouse and name it mouse oops mouse me because we want the information that that mouse is me the player okay all right next what we want to do is change the mouse's size so if you just see um uh, oops that eight just keep it back to 100 if you see that the mouse is like something like fatter than the uh, cat and that's really nothing um, likely so we'll be changing it to 70 70 is the perfect size as a mouse you can make it lesser or um, like make it um, 80 that's your wish okay now let's start with the coding 
let's start with mouse me because we are the mouse and we will want to start with us first because we choose the when green flag clicked we want it to do whatever it does forever the things that comes inside the forever loop are move 10 steps by how do we make it come towards us is it go towards a uh, mouse pointer let's try this how this works out so i think this is not what we want because it is just like coming on with me it's not moving away from the mouse wherever the mouse goes without a small gap it is not um like going so this is not what we want so we need to change it to um point towards so the logic in this is it will move 10 steps as we have put the forever loop it will keep moving 10 steps so it can go the 10 steps can go to million to hundred and thousands and so many so there's no limit of moving and the point towards is used like it needs to go um, not go like it needs to point towards and then move so we're choosing the mouse pointer and then we will want to start the game and check how it works there so as you see it's moving hundreds and thousands of steps and it is pointing but not going it's only pointing towards so that is our first step done for the mouse we are apparently ready for the mouse but we have to do a little um a little screw there and here the first one what we want to do is um we will want it to always start at this position so we'll make it this direction 90 so it's there over here point in direction 90 when the game starts and then we also want it to stay at this position when the game starts so we we'll place the mouse where it needs to be and take the go to there so now um let's check how it works so i observed that it just it's like that that's no time for a person to get ready with it that's why i'll be using some time so wait for one second and then let's start the game so it'll be like waiting and then it'll start the game there good next what we want to do is start coding with the cat so we'll go to the when green flag clicked and use the forever flag uh, forever loop and use the move 10 steps and point towards this time um it would not be mouse pointer so who does he need to point towards it needs to point towards the mouse that's me the mouse so it needs to point toward the mouse so now if you try it it goes like that but there's this problem it seems like they are hugging each other or like the mouse is like uh, a really good friend with the cat and is playing with him and this game is not like that it's a chase game there is a catcher and an escaper so we will want to change some things over here the first thing we want to change is the move steps the move 10 steps is the speed controller so if I change it to 1 you will see how slow it will go it's like like that so you understand it's the speed controller so you can uh, like um, uh, change the speed to something like 4 because I think I think 4 is the best uh, speed now you might be thinking why is that stopping and that isn't 
it's because we haven't added the coding so we are also going to add the similar coding we have done for that but both of them will be in a different position so I'm going to make him also at correct 90 degrees when the game starts and we also want him to go to this position just going to make him 90 degrees Um, not getting or uh, just gonna type 90 yeah so 90 there he'll be standing there at correct 90 degrees so go to that position next we want to take the weight for one second now let's try it it's waiting and it's playing see perfect okay but again, just going to pause it. Yeah. Now we are done with the chasing and controlling. Now we what we want to do after chasing what it does. It needs to catch it. That's also done. And now we need to do after it catches it what. So to do that, if then the mouse pointer the dash is touching mouse point the cat is touching mouse pointer no the mouse is touching the cat then we want it to stop all then we want it to stop all now let's try it okay that's how it worked no animation nothing that's not how we want it to be so let's see one more so you see in this one if you have a close look the mouse hasn't yet touched it it had touched it but it's still not with that so that is not what we want it's like um, if it just touches it it's like going with that Yes, if it touches it, but it sh after it touches it, the cat should trap it. So, we'll be adding go to, go to the mouse after, I mean the cat. After the mouse has touched the cat, we'll need it to go to the cat. And where does that mean go to the cat? Will it go to the tail? Will it go to the palm? No. It always goes to the middle of the cat. So every sprite's position is at its middle. So if you use the go to, it'll go at the correct middle. Now let's try it. See, now it's at the middle, but there's this problem. It's above it. And I don't think the mouse has catched the uh, cat. That's why we'll be using, we'll be going to looks and using the go to front layer we'll put it there go to f back layer so we'll be always wanting it to stay at the back of whichever sprite it um, is using so now let's try this and if it touch it it's it disappears into its stomach so once more there okay so there's his little body parts over here which seems like we have trapped it now that's like almost our game done just missing one sprite to animate it so we'll be using the pop sound you can choose any sound you want by go to go going to the sounds library i'll be using the pop for now so now if we play it we're running and there it so this was a really fun game to make and really easy we did it um, with a few blocks and it turned out to be such a beautiful game there okay so we have got our cat and mouse chase game ready now what we want to do is save it to our computer so you can save it there now you might be waiting 
for what I think you are waiting for the developed games version so now let's see it so this is the developed game you might be seeing no difference right now but check at the left hand side top there's an option called as life you have totally five lives in this game so if you lose them all you the game stops so it means that you have five lives you get you like you can escape five times and after that you lose so here it is how we play it so it's the normal way until you lose a life so if you lose a life you pop back from the right side corner um right side top corner so i'll show you see you popped out from there one life left there that's a drink sound coming and the game stops so this is a developed version of this and if you want to know how to make this please comment down that you will want to learn how to make this um and if you have any doubts you can also comment down but remember if you're coming down that you want it not only this will be thought you will be also thought how to add a timer in this a timer and you'll also learn how to add like a game over screen and a start screen so that'll be really fun right so please do not forget to subscribe like and comment comment to get more fun videos like these Bye friends